I, I think tonight, just from what I saw, he was using the corners. He was pitching backwards. Um, cutter was good. The, the backdoor cutter to lefties. Cutter in on the hands. Change. And obviously the velocity, he has good stuff. And I think that, you know, when we did have pitches to hit, we just couldn't square them up. So uh, this is as good as I've seen him. And I, I think uh, a lot of it, you know, throwing the breaking ball, the curveball, along with the cutter. And, you know, just felt that he could throw those pitches at any point, worked ahead. And, you know, you look at the night, we really didn't get a whole lot of good swings. Well, what did you make of Julio? You know, I, I thought Julio, you know, the line score, obviously, five scoreless. Uh, but, you know, pitched behind a lot. And... Um, you know, I just thought that the command wasn't as sharp as, as we've seen it. But, you know, with Julio, a credit to him, he makes pitches when he, need, when he needed to. Oh, I, you may not have time, I guess, but did you get uh, before I'll have the uh, I, I got a little bit. And so I guess he came out of the game. There was some hamstring tightness. So, um, you know, obviously for him to have to come out of the game, and we have a day off tomorrow. I still, I just don't see him being activated on Friday. So, um, I think Jock came out of it okay. So, we expect him to be active on Friday. And the move we're going to make, um, I guess we have a day to think about it. <laughs> we're going to take the full day. Any thoughts? No, it was just more of, you know. Obviously, early Julio goes uh, five innings, and you know you got Posey, the heart of the order, coming up. So I wanted to, to uh, use Petey at that point in time. I felt that um, you know you look at the lineup and to shorten the game, and I felt we were going to get runs off Samarja, and so you get through a clean six, and then at that point in time, where where you know if you have Stripling go one inning, and Fields go the eighth, or Avalon or actually Dayton Avilon was down, then you've only got one other person behind Kenley. And so if the game goes to extra, so you've got to use Field or Strip, who is a multi-inning guy, you've got to get two innings out of him. And so for me, I thought, um, you know, we don't really have that true setup guy and how our pen is constructed. So he gave up a ground ball to off Pence, off the bat of Pence, and, you know, so he gets a ground ball base hit and, um, you know, bounce breaking ball. That's a two base wild pitch. So he gets a soft grounder from Posey and, and uh, you know, scores a run. But for two innings, he actually threw the ball well. And it's just unfortunate circumstance. And you had the infield in. Yeah, we had the infield right there at home. Uh, Buster's up, you know, an elite, elite hitter. So I think that when you're at home to try to play for the tide to still have an at-bat to extend the game versus nobody out, play them in, CNI gets through, and then the inning keeps going and you potentially have a chance to lose the game. So if we had had him in where the ball was hit, you can't play that game. I, I, I still think that would have been a base hit if, if we would have played him in. So um, I just felt with the hitter, the batter, pitcher, matchup, you know, I'll take the uh, extend the game. It looks like your, your pitcher were really squeezed in the 11th inning. Else. You know, um, you know, I haven't looked at it again. So I, I thought that there were some pitches that were close that uh, didn't go our way. But, um, you know, that, that's just the way it goes. Yeah. There were a decision on Scott Casper's next step. Sure. <laughs> I, I think with Kaz, um, I think we're gonna uh, we're gonna um, get him on a program to um, build up some more arm strength. I, I think for us, it's important for him to build up uh, arm strength, hand speed, velocity, which equates to velocity. And so uh, he'll be in Arizona for the next couple weeks. And um, you know we have a program that we have to kind of uh, you know promote that. Left calf, it'll be just a little mild contusion. He'll be ready to go on Friday. Seems to have a little target on his back. There. He does. He's on the plate. And, uh, 
you know, Oker just yanked a fastball and got him, but he'll, he'll be fine. Do you think Cody's had a chance? Excuse me? Cody's hit to the I, I thought, um, you know, the, 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 he barreled it. It went a mile high, and uh, just the trajectory is a little to just a tick, but uh, I was hoping. I think the decision for Yaz to, I guess, attempt to put down a sack by his first chance, is that your, your call? That was my call. You know, I, I think that um, right there at home, I, I felt that the next two guys, I, I felt that Cody could put in that bat against a left-hander, and I felt that Adrian had a good chance to get a hit as well. So with Yasmani right-handed, he puts the ball on the ground. And, um, you know, that's just kind of where he's at right now. And for me, if he's going to put the ball on the ground, um, it's probably going to be a double play. So uh, at home, if we can get the bunt down, we have a chance for one hit to score a run.